Welcome to the second edition of Ion New Paltz, the monthly magazine show. My name is Marilyn DiPoto, and I will be your host. First, we will take a look at the joys of registration, a fond memory for all. What would you rather be doing? Sleeping. <laughs> I'd like to be home watching TV. How long did you have to wait online for? Put it this way, did you ever go to Great Adventure or Action Park? It's almost as bad as motor vehicles. Are you scared that you're not going to get all of your classes? Most probably I won't because everything's booked. And what classes are you taking? Modern World, Freshman Comp, Algebra. Uh, just all the requirement courses that you have to take? Yep. So you think you're going to get all your classes? Nope. What would you rather be doing? I'd rather be ripped by the gears in a combine. Playing Nintendo. <laughs> <laughs> Playing hockey. What would you rather be doing? I don't know, not here though. Did you register for classes yet this semester? I'm not going to school this semester, actually. You graduating? No. Did you register for your classes? No. You didn't? Uh, are you going to at some point? Uh, yeah. You are? Are you looking forward to the line? Yes. Oh, okay, great. Classes are filled. Better luck next time. Don't you just hate when that happens? Part of the function of fraternities and sororities is to help the community by offering some kind of community service. The Pi Alpha Nu fraternity did just that when they presented us with an evening of memorable music, the Battle of the Bands. Hey, don't just sit there and stand up. Seven bands, 3,000 watts of power. An evening of hard-hitting heavy metal rock and roll. The bands rocked hard and the audience responded. I myself thought that Prime Evil ruled. Definitely. Reform's great. The event was hosted by the infamous Doc Stein. He kept the evening rolling with his witty humor and audience participation. All right, so a man goes into a tattoo parlor, right? Guys, I'm on a blind date. All right, there's this trucker going down the road. Prizes were awarded for the best joke. The bands that participated were D.I.E., Keep Bright, Major Axe, Ten Minutes Left, Ravenwood, Prime Evil, and Rare Form. I say the ticket sales, we keep running about $800, which of that we're going to split between um, the New Pulse Youth Center and the Kingston Children's Home. So we expect to give about $400 to them. Uh, this is just a start. We're going to keep doing co uh, concerts all over campus. Next uh, semester, we're going to try to trip and fields, I'd say, you know. I don't know if we can do it for a charity, but, you know, at least maybe try and save spring weekend again. Um, as I said, it was a joint effort by a lot of people. I have about... Uh, my fraternity pile for new and uh, little sisters, about 56 people together, formed this whole thing. And as I said, anybody can do it. All you got to do is a little initiative, get things, talk to the right people. All right, this is who won. Third place, uh, Major Axe. It, it, it was a tie for second place, Keep Right and DIE. Yeah. We've got the same score. All right. And uh, before we uh, introduce the first place band, may I just say that Doc Stein has never looked better. Yeah. All right, and the first place band is 10 minutes left. Yeah. Battle of the Bands was a great success. A really good time was had by all, and a good cause benefited as well. Thank you, Pi Alpha Nu. 
Next, we present a behind-the-scenes look at the theater department's recent production of Romance Language. <laughs>
Coming up, we have a story about the New Polk Skunks and their hope to qualify for the regionals next season. Hey, I know what that is. That's Mount Mohonk. Yeah, but you know what they're doing? I think they call it Ultimate Disc. talking with the captain of the New Paltz Frisbee team. What's your name? Ted Phillips. Hey, what's the name of the team, by the way? New Paltz Gunks. Yeah, that's a cool name. Uh, why don't you tell us uh, how you guys have been doing this season? Well, we started out against Vassar this season with our first ever home game. We're a new team. We started last spring. Uh, we beat Vassar 15-13, which really set, the stand, uh, set us for the season because uh, it was a big win for us. Set us up for our next game against Bard, another local rival. We won that game, too, which enabled us to go to the sectionals where uh, – um, all the teams from the New York metropolitan area play, where in the top five teams advance to the regionals, which are all the teams from the north, northeast region, from New York and above, where uh, we went and uh, placed fourth at the sectionals, so, uh, so we advanced to regionals, and uh, we won a game up there. So it was a very successful season for us to, just to make it to regionals in our first year. There's also a national competition? Yeah, nationals. The, f the top three teams from regionals in the northeast, three teams represent the northeast at the nationals. And so uh, this year, the top three teams were uh, New York, Titanic, which is out of Bo uh, Boston, and Earth Atomizer, which are out of Boston, too. So uh, this spring, we'll be making a run to, to qualify in the top three um, to go to the Nationals. But first, we've got to be in the top five of the section to make it out of the sectionals. So we're, right now, we just want to make it to regionals. And uh, a big part of that is recruiting over the winter to get people in the spring to play for the team, because a lot of people just don't know about Ultimate. And uh, there are a lot of athletes that uh, <clears throat> can come try out for, uh, for the, the sport if they're interested in it. Ultimate Disc has come a long way since Beach Frisbee. It's now a very organized sport with established rules. The field is much the same as in football, and the object of the game is to score points. The main difference, though, is that you can't run with the Frisbee, and tackling is out of the question. The Frisbee has moved up the field only by completed passes. If the disc is intercepted or goes out of bounds, it's an immediate turnover. Substitutes and timeouts can only be made when there's a score. Otherwise, the game is continuous and fast-paced. The Gunks have come a long way, and be sure to look for them next season. Recently, in the multi-purpose room, there was a step show presented by the Phi Beta Sigma fraternity, and I on New Pulse was there. Step shows have been incorporated within all black fraternities for a very long time, numerous years. And a step show, it takes a whole lot of work to do, you know, to make up a step show, basically. It takes a lot of time and a lot of effort. Um, within my fraternity, the, um, most chapters throughout the United States use very similar steps. And they're taught throughout, say, the eastern region or wherever they might be taught at. Say, for instance, like the Sigma Nutcrackers, everyone knows about that step or another step called Showtime. And these steps have been used for a long time, and they change often. But each chapter within the chapter um, practices, and a lot of times they make up their own steps, but in the, a basic over, not overview, but overall they use the same kind of steps throughout the chapters, but every chapter makes up their own steps.
Okay, now that you're all rehearsed, uh, how do you feel about the show? You know, I feel that, you know, we're going to do well. And uh, just a little bit jittery, you know, because it's going to be a lot of people watching us. But, you know, I just have confidence in myself and all the brothers that we're going to do you know, very well on the show. There's a big crowd waiting for you? Yeah, very big crowd. Are you psyched for the step show tonight? Yes, I'm real psyched. I'm real psyched to see these guys come out here and do their best. I really am. We were practicing at Smalley Arts Building, usually from 7.30, anywhere until 11 o'clock. The practices were very vigorous, and our step show was very nice. We messed up on the last step, but that was okay, because we did practice hard, and everybody is proud of us. Does it take a lot? It takes a lot to put a step show together, right? It, does. it takes a lot, many hours. You have to think of words, and you have to make up steps, and then you have to teach other people. And unfortunately, everybody isn't able to pick up steps as fast as others. What a flavor! Huh? Social issues play an important part in the world. Fortunately, here on campus, there is an organization, NYPIRG, that helps the student learn about these issues and teaches them to do something about them. NYPIRG, what's it all about, what do they support, and how can you get involved? How about I just tell you what NYPIRG is? It stands for the New York Public Interest Research Group. Um, we are a student-founded and student-funded uh, organization found on 17 different campuses around the state. Recently, NYPIRG sponsored a South African Awareness Week. This consisted of speeches, marches, concerts, and activities to help people become more aware of the growing problem in South Africa. Apartheid is a serious problem in South Africa. The blacks are being oppressed by a white-controlled government. While blacks outnumber the whites by five to one, they are still being exploited by racial segregation. Why does apartheid continue? What can we do about it? Divestment is a powerful form of protest that has proved to be effective. Nightberg is pushing to make this happen in New York State. We're the students, we're your constituents, <laughs> and we have a demand. And it's just not economically sound, if you want to look at it that way, to keep our investments there. The people don't want it. Until South Africa's regime um, is dismantled and true democracy exists there, it's not going to exist anywhere else in Southern Africa. NYPIRG is also concerned with other important projects that affect people everywhere. Currently, they are working on a recycling effort. They are working to ban the use of styrofoam on campus, and they are protesting the use of standardized tests for students. The next major event that NYPIRG will sponsor is the annual Earth Day Festival. What I do with NYPIRG is I'm the project leader for Earth Day. Um, what we do is we work to coordinate the Earth Day. I don't know if any, I mean, I'm sure everyone here remembers it from last year. We had between two and 3,000 people and, you know, over, you know, seven different um, musical groups and, like, about 20 different environmental groups. And this year's is going to be even bigger. Um, even bigger than last year's. Oh, much bigger because um, we're working on a much larger scale. Um, besides, you know, just having a lot of fun and, um, you know, being outside with everybody, Earth Day is also about learning and about understanding environmental issues. Earth Day is a project that you just talked to Marlo about, um, you know, increasing environmental awareness while also celebrating the beauty and the magnificence of this Earth that supports life. You know, we are abusing our planet and we only have one. We don't have another one to go to. Mars isn't quite the place yet, so until we have one, we better start caring about where we do live. NYPIRG has specific meeting times for each project that they work on. Recycling meets at 7 p.m. on Monday, and that's anything to do with the styrofoam ban, uh, campus-wide recycling, uh, anti-incineration, uh, local recycling in the sub, because the students will be doing the recycling project here in the sub. Um, the Earth Day meetings meet on Mondays at 9.30 p.m. Um, divestment anti-apartheid meetings are Tuesdays, 9.30 p.m. Uh, education Watch is Wednesday at 8 o'clock. 
and local government is Thursday at 3.30 p.m., Thursday afternoon. All the meetings are held right here in the office. Um, if you want to get involved, if you think any of these issues are important to you, and I, I guarantee you they are, all of them affect you personally. Um, if you want to get some experience with communication skills, with media work, uh, with organizing, with doing political activism, here's a place to do it. Come up and see us. Uh, the office is 322 in the Student Union Building, and the phone number is 257-3085. They want you to be apathetic. They want you to not care and not do anything. We don't. <laughs> We think that the, wor the earth is worth having, uh, and to destroy it, destroy human rights, to destroy um, precious resources is wrong, and we shouldn't put up with that, and that's why we fight for the things that we do. So you can have an impact. So come by and uh, get involved. Thanks. NYPIRG is important because not only can it benefit you, but it can help you benefit the community. Now we present a skit featuring Stuart Hirsch and his store in town called Why Be Normal. stock on those, but we'll have them in soon. Oh, okay. okay. In the meantime, we got things like this guy. Oh, my God. We got this ice cream cone. That's oh, really geez. popular. Here, check the mirror out. We got this. Oh, it's from here. It's good to get your friends out. Oh, no. Oh, God. Isn't this great? Oh, God. Ew. Isn't that wonderful? Yeah, I sold that to hairstylists. You know, they put it on the floor. So that, uh, you know, a pile of hair. And we got these. Oh, I can't so, Here, do me a favor, like this. Oh, God, do I have to? Yeah. Ouch! Oh, my God, that really hurt. Good. <laughs> <laughs> that really hurt. That really hurt. Try it, yes. That's usually how it is. The guy comes in with his wife and goes, Hey, honey, try this. <laughs> like, yeah, it's wonderful. Okay, we got this. It has five different sounds on it. Everybody needs one of these. But seriously, right. both. <laughs> then we got this great little camera here. You see, when I point it this way, I could... Oops, sorry. Oh, uh, oh yeah. Right. Uh, yeah. I see. I was warning that time. Oh, okay, okay. okay. <laughs> messed it up. Anybody wearing white today? No, not red will do. <laughs> Let's disappear again. I hope so. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, no, it takes two minutes. It'll, it'll come out. Try the jackpot thing here. Okay. Before it's on. This is called Robo Rooster. <laughs> And it goes off in the morning like that. Yeah, it really? just keeps going to you know until you shut it off. That's oh, cool. Hey, break the street. No, that's why I'm spinning on the screen. Yeah. <laughs> well, this is another little thing. All I want for Christmas is my two monkeys. Uh, right. Right. And if you're not into Mike Tyson, we've got George Bush. Yeah. Oh, right. <laughs> How about Mike Tyson punching George? He's a good guy. Yeah. Or you can punch him yourself with this. <laughs> So we'll just let it go. Don't be afraid to lose control.
Okay. okay. So what are you getting? Um, definitely this. Yeah, this. Definitely. This? Okay. I want an ice cream. This is my wife, Serena. Hi. <laughs> okay, she works at the store when I, you know, when I'm too lazy to. And, uh, <laughs> That's true. Most, most of the time. Most of the time. And this is Gidget, and yeah. you know, we're going to leave the business to her thinks, one day. Yes, yeah, so and she thinks you're buying her hammer because she has one of these. Oh, she does. Sorry. Yeah. It's okay. Okay, okay, so, so ice cream cone. And the buzzer. And this. And this. Oh, it's really <laughs> definitely the screen. Yeah. 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 Hey, you guys got to see this. This is called Endless Shaving Cream. Uh -huh. And you, you just tell somebody, I mean, it says endless, but you got to tell somebody that it's like, it's endless because it, you just can't get enough of it. Oh, and, okay. you know, when they go to press the button in, <gasps> it doesn't stop. Oh, my God. And it keeps on going. Oh, my God. <laughs> you can make it, how do you make it stop? Oh, you don't. The whole can empties out, and then it's the end of the gag. But it does do one whole time. Oh, all right. Great. Um, okay. And it's actually, the good thing about it is it's not really shaving cream. It just looks like it, but it's foam, and it does disappear by itself. Oh, okay. okay. All right. So don't worry if I got it all over you. <laughs> no problem. Really? So it just empties out the whole can? Yeah, that's it. <laughs> okay, so yeah, let's get back to the order. Okay, well, we'll let that sure. go off and do by itself. Okay. <laughs> Okay, how much money? Alright. That's why we have no friends. <laughs> oh, God. oh, thank you. Oh, okay. okay, this is great. Right, hey, early snowstorm. Alright. <laughs> Thanks a lot. Alright, All right. take Thanks care. Guys, so nice. Yeah, we lose more customers that way. <sighs> Are they good? What are you doing here? <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry. Hey, you want to be friends? Come on, I, really? I'm sorry. Oh! <laughs> Thank you for joining us for this edition of Ion New Pulse here on the first floor in the sub at the new food court. We hope you've enjoyed the show and be sure not to miss our next one coming soon.